The February grind is real, hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Let's pull the numbers up to give you a look at how my eBay sales went over the weekend. Had a total of 22 come through, $749 in revenue. Your takeout fees, postage, cost of goods, it was a $317 profit weekend. And that is, well, a whole lot less to what it normally is. Let's just put it that way. I'm gonna take you through every single one of the 22 items that went on to sell. Hopefully that can help you with your own reselling business out there. Get a few ideas as to what to look for when you're sourcing for your own items. And the other one as well is I've got a bit of a tip for you that I'll put into place over the weekend. It actually brought in a few sales and it makes sense. I'll, I'll talk to you about that a little bit later, but let's dive into the first category. I'll show you what's selling in the DVDs. Done pretty well in the media section this weekend, guys. 60% of the total sales this weekend have come in media. So definitely a category to be looking into. Uh, we've got some CDs, some video games, some Blu-ray, and a bunch of DVDs here. I'll kick things off with this one right here. Lord of the Rings, it's a trilogy DVD set. I've sold this one a number of times before. Happy to pay up for it to get my hands on it. Paid the $15. It's gone on to sell for 69 bucks. So definitely one to be looking out for, guys. Prime Suspects. Now, the complete collection, that's the sort of thing that I look for when I'm doing my DVDs. That one there sold for $27. Would have only paid a couple of bucks for it in the thrift. I've got this one here as well, Vicar of Dibley. These are all brand new and sealed. A great TV show that goes on to sell well. It was actually a viewer of the channel uh, by the name of Hayden. So thank you very much for the support, mate. You've bought a number of items out of my store and I really just can't thank you enough for it, mate. Uh, this one here as well, Grand Designs Revisited. Um, this one went for $24.50, which for a single DVD, I thought was very impressive. That one there was only a $2 purchase in an op shop. Uh, we've got these ones, Blu-ray as well. I think we've got about $18 uh, for those two. One of them was brand new. One of them was pre-owned. I don't do a heap of Blu-rays, but um, they definitely do sell. Uh, the Benny Hill collection, this one here, it was only a dollar in the thrift and uh, it went on to sell for $12.50 plus we got an international postage rate of $20. So that was a good one there. Uh, we just had a quick win here with this one for 10 bucks. These CDs right here, while they're all great bands, Avenged Sevenfold, we've got um, David Bowie and then the Bee Gees as well. They all went for 10 bucks a piece, but Rancid and Ice House were the two winners. $19.50 for that one there, and Rancid, I think, was the $18 price point. So, um, yeah, really good money in the CDs. They do tick along pretty well. Got a pretty good sell-through rate on those ones there. And then finally, Pokemon Stadium on the Nintendo 64, guys. This one sold for $75.00. Uh, really happy to sell that one in about a two-week time period. Bought it in a flea market for 40 bucks. So to get a pretty good turnaround there. I've made a few dollars. I'm not too disappointed. Guys, really good run in the media category. Let's have a look at the shoes. So it's definitely a little bit quieter than usual in the shoe section, guys. I've, I've sourced so many of them, so I do like to try and get a number of sales. But we only had three come through over the weekend, which was... A little bit disappointing, but they were still three good sales nonetheless. Uh, we had a total of $195 in revenue. The first one that I've got for you are the Adidas Nemesis footy boots. Now, footy season's just kicking off, guys. I've spoken about it a lot on my channel recently. I am trying to buy as many of these as I possibly can. Uh, we've got a $55 sale price on these ones right here. I had a second pair of footy boots come through as well. These are the Lethal, lethal Shot CS4s. Um, really nice pair. The Asics footy boots do pretty well. $65 sale price on these ones here. These are a big guy as well, size US 14. And then I've got these as well, the ultra running shoes, guys. These were, This was a wholesale agreement off Facebook Marketplace. I bought about 40 of them at $15 each. They are all brand new. These ones have gone on to sell for $75. And I think I'm now up to about $4,000 worth of revenue off this ultra running shoe deal. So it's no doubt been the best wholesale agreement I've ever done. Um, three pairs of shoes, 195 bucks. Hopefully there's a few more to come over the next few days. We also had some hats sell over the weekend as well, guys. I'm typically doing them between $30 to $35, and that's exactly what we had here. We had this one here, the Dunlop uh, Podium Hat. Really nice one in good condition. I only paid a few dollars for this, and it sold for $37.50. So I get a lot of questions about how I post my hats. It's always in a small box with a bit of bubble wrap, and you just need to protect the brim. That's the main thing. You don't want to be putting that into a satchel. So make sure you're putting your hats into a box when you send it off. This was the other one as well. We had the Champion Hat, the Bucket Hat. Bucket hats are getting a little bit trendy at the minute. A lot of people trying to pick these things up. So a $35 sale price, Champion's a great brand. I'm always looking for it in any form of clothing or accessories. Two hats for about 70 bucks, not too bad. 
We did, we did okay in the clothing section, guys. I had a total of four items sell for $100 worth of revenue. Um, the first one that I've got for you is a Brisbane Lions training top. Now, this one's a size medium. It is in great condition. I paid about $8 for all of these tops that you're gonna be seeing in this little clip, but um, this one went on to sell for 28 bucks. So, not too bad, footy season starting. I've already harped on it, but that is why this stuff is moving. So, good to get that one finally out of the way. This one as well was a 2008 Rugby League uh, training singlet as well. So, not too bad of an item, I thought initially when I bought it, but I only got a $23.75 sale price, and it did sit around for quite some time. Um, this one as well was Gold Coast Titans training top. That one only sold for $23, uh, $25. Um, it was a size 2XL. And then we've got a Jim Beam Racing size medium um, yeah, V8 Supercars top as well. So $25 bucks for that one there. So if we really try and break that down, that's $100 worth of revenue. I'm buying these items for $8 a piece. So that's $32 worth of a purchase price. When you take out fees and postage, I'm pretty much only making about seven bucks per item on those items there. And I'm getting a really long sell-through rate to get the job done. So I'm making $30 worth of profit to source these and I'm investing $30 into it only to have them sit on the shelf for quite a while before I even get that money back. So I deem that not to actually be a category for me to be focusing on, but it is interesting that if you are doing clothing and that is what you wanna focus on, clearly the sporting goods are selling best in, in the way of merchandise because I've got a lot of other clothing items in here that just aren't moving, business shirts, etc. But it's the, it's the sports section that does best for me. So if you are doing clothing, maybe that's a bit of a tip. Do you remember a, a few weeks ago now at the flea market, I found that piece of furniture, that wooden storage box. Uh, I paid $50 for it. All right. Would you do, would you do 50? Yeah. I'll, I'll take that for 50. I actually really love this. It just look really unique and interesting and the carvings as well on it. That should go okay. I'm not sure exactly what I think I'll get, but to get it for 50 bucks, pretty good. Well, the good news is I've been able to sell it this morning. Somebody messaged me after about a month of it sitting on Facebook Marketplace and she's gonna pay the full price of $150. So we're gonna be making $100 worth of profit. It's very nice to be back flipping furniture on Facebook Marketplace. It's been a long time and if you're brand new to the channel, I actually started flipping furniture on, on Facey. I never actually used eBay. And uh, slowly I realized that you gotta build a business. You probably should be on eBay. But look, anyway, she's, she's about to come and I'm gonna keep the camera on and I'll show you the sale get done. Here it is here. Oh, cool. Yep, awesome. Yeah, so the key, that works, the lock works. Um, yeah, the, I think the lock was what sold it for me. I know, I, yeah. I thought that was pretty unique that it was still intact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's pretty cool. No, awesome. Nice. All right. All right. Now, this is for a, a business, so can you just mock up a quick... It's 150, wasn't it? Yeah, 150. Are you able to, nothing fancy, just a piece of paper? Yeah, yeah a bit of a start, receipt. Yeah, just a receipt. It's, yeah. it's going in an escape room, so. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's so. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, let me give you a hand with it first, and then um, I'll, I'll write you up something. Yep, I'll write all All right. Um, pretty successful morning so far. Dropped off the post, had a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Geez, it's good to be back flipping on Facebook Marketplace. Quick 150 bucks there. Um, I actually went into an op shop and I don't really have too much footage for you because it ended up just being a personal grab. I ended up buying these guys. We've got the Asics Gel Keanu 22s and they're in excellent condition. I've paid $30, but they're going to be my new running shoes. So they ended up fitting me absolutely perfectly. I whacked them on the hoof uh, in store and uh, I was pretty happy with things. So not something I typically do buy for my Myself personally, it's usually for business purposes. But let me know in the comments below how much stuff do you actually thrift for yourself in op shops? Because I was kind of happy with that, and I might do a little bit more of it. All right, guys, let's get into that tip that I alluded to in the intro, and uh, I think I might have even titled this video with the tip as well because uh, it is an important one. It has landed me with some success over the weekend. I generated five sales using this little uh, tip structure that I've got for you, and what it's referring to is best offer messages and utilizing them and actually activating best offers even if you don't have it in the first place. So that's the first step. Make sure that you have best offers activated, and then when you're sending them off. I actually think it's a huge advantage for you to be sending off it with a personalized message. Let me know in the comments if you're doing it. I ran an experiment over the weekend. I did 10 best offers with a personalized message and 10 best offers 
without a personalized message. And the message that I was sending was focused around the postage and I guess the efficiency of how quickly I'd be able to get it out to them. It was very basic. It was kind of like, hey guys, I'm gonna shoot this off to you first thing Monday morning if you're able to buy the item. Just that personalized message with the discounted price point generated five out of 10 best offer sends. So five sales generated from the, the 10 that I sent off. And then the 10 that I sent off without the personalized message, I only had one sale come back. So. 10% success rate versus a 50% success rate. And I would say on average, I'm typically around 20% with my best offer acceptance. So I think it worked. I mean, look, it's only sending off 20 best offers. It's a very small number to sort of work off, but it worked. I had five sales come through out of 10 that I sent off with it, which was higher than what it normally is for me. So. I think it's a really good little tip for you guys to be utilizing. It's personally something that I've never even looked at or considered, but I've had a bit of a benefit from it over the weekend and hopefully it can help you guys as well. So let me know in the comments if you're doing that, if you're sending off personalized messages, if you've had any success with it, if you think it's worthwhile, uh, I definitely do and I'm gonna continue to do it. Um, that's everything for this video today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, really quiet period over the month of February on a sales front, but I'm just keeping on chipping away. I've got my, uh, my board here, guys, and um, I need to be doing 15 a day, and it's a little bit quieter than that at the moment, so it's probably more so on me than it is on eBay. You can't blame eBay when you're not putting in the work yourself. You've got to remember that. Um, thanks for being here, guys. I really do appreciate your support. The 30% clubs that stick around to the end, you guys are the absolute best. We'll see you on Thursday for a trip to the thrift. We're off to the States, and I need to find some cool stuff to get me there. We'll see you soon.